The Immortal Codex is here, and the Conqueror is the first one up. Hey guys, I'm Apocalypto. Welcome to the video. Today we're going to look at some Immortal Codex. It just came out with a new one today. And uh, the first one up is the Conqueror. We're going to take a look at him. We're going to show you guys uh, my strategy and some of the things I was going through on uh, who to pick, why, things like that. Uh, I know not everyone has the same heroes all the time, but hopefully with me explaining uh, why and, and, and how I, I chose the heroes I have, that can help you choose a good team out of your roster that can help you do the same. All right, let's get started. Now, what I was doing, first off, I'm gonna show you the the auto fight. I'll, I'll go ahead and show you the auto fight so I can explain to you what I was what I was doing. I've recently just upgraded some things, so I'm, have, I'm gonna try it again, and I want to uh, uh, see if I can get a bit higher than this, so that's the reason we're gonna push. But what I did right here is I put uh, Abomination facing down, facing south. I had uh, Gluttony facing north, and then I had uh, Torador in the middle facing left. That way Torador can get the oncoming thing. And then I put, uh, what's her name, Valkyria? <clears throat> I put Valkyria in the back. That way she can shoot all the way past even Torador. And she's able to get, you know, several at a time or whatnot. As many type of AOE type of damage as, as you can get, ideally. Well, what's this little guy doing? What's going on here? That didn't happen the first time. Jesus. The hell? There you go. All right. I don't know what that was, <laughs> but uh, uh, but anyway, um, and what they're doing is they're, they're able to really knock out the damage uh, of these, uh, uh, um, you know, oncoming guys. Now, what I did is I had uh, um, uh, what's these two guys name? Uh, Cerebius and Aatrox, and I was able to drop them. I waited until the, the big wave came, you know, the boss rush, and I waited and dropped them within good timing so that they would cause the most amount of damage at the right amount of times, right? It was all about timing and damage. That way I could try to revive Aatrox um, at least once as well, right? <clears throat> with all that together, even with the uh, Torador, he has, uh, I think his ultimate, he hits several other people all at one time too. So uh, not too shabby. Oh, got the A, okay. Now. Originally, when I did that, I did not have. I actually just went back and, and start him up. He was not Aatrox. He was not uh, all the way, uh, you know, purple star. And then neither neither is him. Actually, Tordor. I need to go back and get him. I will actually. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where's he at? Where's he at? There she is. Just look at promotion and check out. Excellent excellent look at him look at him literal beast mode right there <clears throat> basic attributes jump up look at it, all the way across attack even goes up defense of course hp through the roof outstanding thank you sir leave the review to the other guys and check it out outstanding let's go to challenge top 23 percent. that's cool all right, so originally what I was doing is you're coming through here and, and basically just give you attack and defenders. Now, I typically try to do as many attackers as I can, obviously the most damage. And if you gear them right and give them a good amount of gear, um, then you're probably not really going to need any healers or, uh, uh, you know, tanks of any, of any, any real ability. Although, uh, um, Abomination is actually a tank. Um, you know, if you can skill him up to do a lot of damage, uh, you know, even better, right? Even better. The idea is not to build your heroes for this to be tanky per se, but to um, build them to do attack, right? That's really what we're trying to do is do attack. And uh, we're trying to do AOE attack uh, as best as possible, right? To hit as many uh, enemies as possible in a small area, right? <clears throat> so what we're doing is we've tried to look at all our top heroes and try to figure out like, you know, um, uh, Zilla 2, although the attack is high, it's single target damage. Uh, even um, uh, Arrogance, Arrogance is good, but not all of his attacks are AoE, right? Um, Silas is good, but only his ultimate is an AoE. Um, you know what I mean? Like you, you got issues like that, so you want to try to get the best you can. Now, 
um these guys are a bit more aoe guys uh uh here i think i'm pretty sure he is let's see make sure make sure um oh okay here smash those 20 percent extra damage to targets inflicted with burning so it's not aoe at all all right guys so now i'm going to go over the team and kind of why i picked these guys and what you can do to kind of look out for other guys that i think would work pretty well in your team right so for torador let's go ahead and click on him first the reason i chose this guy is right here all right increase faction allies basic attributes by 15 every time you um every time a faction ally is deployed all deployed faction allies uh, you know gain blah 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 right all the uh lord skills uh, that's a big reason why he's there um and then he also has this each attack inflicts defense reduction on the target for five seconds additionally when torador is deployed or revived increase blah 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 we're not worried about that we're just worried about this defense reduction and the lord skill it's the only reason i picked a defender for this one uh he's really going to be able to help out with that and of course you know he holds back one extra person which you know in turn can help um hold back another person so the other attackers on the side can kind of da -da -da, you know tear it up all right gluttony let's go over this guy now he's not really an aoe guy but where is he right here uh, damage scales off hp uh it says uh eliminating enemy girls in size stack it just shows you it talks about his uh stacking um attack based on his hp there does 110 percent damage to one enemy and then you go over here each attack or i'm sorry each stack of talent has a 10 percent chance of turning basic attacks into enhanced attacks dealing 300 damage up to five enemies ahead of inflicting stun of them see uh, he's not technically aoe but he kind of sort of is right so he, once he hits those five enemies that's his passive it can really help out uh just like this it says uh rips and kills one enemy ugh. rips and kills one enemy in range with teeth if the target is an elite or boss deals 800 damage in, uh, instead after casting the skill, recovers 50% of max HP. So, you know, you really don't need a healer with these guys. He's doing pretty good himself. Uh, and he's kind of sort of AOE, and he also has a ton, of, you know, I put a ton of HP on this guy. So he uh, scales off his HP, and he's able to do some pretty pretty good damage there. Look at that, 96,000, 96,000, almost 100,000 HP. So he, he should be scaling fairly, fairly well. All right, let's go to the next, Abomination. <clears throat> now this guy is um <clears throat> all right abomination now this guy is a pretty good tank uh you know awesome hp but we're using him for let's see triggers automatically for 25 seconds increasing the max hp by 50 percent extends the attack range and reduces physical damage taken by 20 percent all uh, attacks all enemies in range two times all enemies in range two times so it's kind of like an AOE, right? Um, each time dealing, oh yeah, we're right there, 60% AOE damage and inflicting burning for, for two seconds. This effect can become permanent after being triggered two times. Talking about his ultimate. After his ultimate is triggered two times, that 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 is just, it's is, is constant, right? Constant. All right, so it says, um, does 150% damage to one enemy with a 15% chance of triggering a guard attack, a charged attack, that deals 120% AOE damage to all. See, so he doesn't typically do AOEs to everyone, but he does have a chance to uh, trigger an additional AOE attack. So this guy, you know, he, he hits guys single target with a chance to hit multiple targets and a chance of AOE with his uh, ultimate AOE, right? So he's pretty good with the AOE. I got him stacked out. Oh, let's look at his gear. I didn't do that, did I? I don't have the best gear on him, but I have some of the best that I have available right now. All right. Got his attack up to 17,000. And got his attack speed only at 130. It's nothing to, nothing to shake a stick at. You know, it's not too shabby, but uh, crit rate's a little more than what I like. But 118 is just the type of gear I had. And then I was able to pump out that crit damage up to 195. So, again, not the best, but pretty decent. Pretty decent, right? Pretty decent. Gets the job done. Now, let's talk about Aatrox. Aatrox over here, man. I got his skills. Um, well, I mean, let's, let's, let's be real. Everybody knows what Aatrox does, right? You put him down, he does the same thing basically as uh, Cerebrius. Beastie, right? He does the same thing as this guy. You put him down and he just creates a circle of death, right? That's, that's pretty much it. 
Same thing here. I got this guy cranked out on attack 2300 because he's only going to be alive for a few seconds anyway. And I just need him to pump out as much actual damage as freaking possible. Um, his uh, crit rates at 92% with 150% crit damage. Ideally, I'd want to take away a little bit of the uh, HP and give him a little bit more crit damage. But, you know, hey, you, you sell what's in your bag, right? That's, that's the gear I got. So we're working with that. And then, of course, this little lady here. Um, she is able to see uh, uh, damage increase by 40% for 20 seconds. Consumes any shield the hero has at present, including attack range, attack speed, blah, blah, blah. Not what I want right here. Deals 150, I'm sorry, 105% AOE damage to multiple enemies in range and inflicts vulnerability of magic damage on them. Vulnerability of magic damage is very important here, but the AOE is also that, like, again, that's why we picked her as AOE. Increases attack by 5% for every 16 seconds, up to eight times. You know, you know what she does. She's pretty beasty. The point I was trying to make was that she's AOE and that you build her to be a beast, right? You build her to be a beast. Just uh, just a little over 200% attack there. And then I have 200 uh, attack speed, 100% crit rate, and 300% crit damage, right? I'm pretty proud of that. That's nice. I feel fancy. <laughs> and then 100% crit uh, rage regen. You know what I mean? She's popping off as quickly as possible. So it's actually a pretty good little setup she has here. Pretty good little setup. All right. So now that I've started them up, right? I have, yes. I have started them up. I have everything leveled up like it should be as much as I can. Let me check the um, artifacts on these guys real quick before we get going. I don't think that there's any that I can level up that hasn't been already as much as I can. 10 out of 10. A look at him. Artifact. 10 out of 13. Ooh, fancy. Uh, let's see. Each basic attack launched has a 11% chance of triggering another basic attack. Interesting. Damage increased by 6% every 4 seconds when no damage. Well, that's not going to work out too well. Increased crit damage by 12% when HP drops below 50%. The It is doubled. Well, he damaged by 12%. Yeah, he's at, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's above that. So we'll go back. And we will swap it, swap, swap it, swap, swap. All right, we will. All right, can't do anything with that, but enhanced nonetheless. Aatrox, what you rocking with, my friend? Let's see what you got. We got the uh, Slayer's Malice here. Slayer's mm, Malice. Yeah, that's what he's gonna rock with right there. I think that is one of the best options. Flicked with bleed. No, we're not really doing any bleed. So yeah, I think we're going to ride with that. All right, Cerebrius. Going to check out his last artifact. 5 out of 10. Increased AoE damage by 10%. All right, there you go. Uh, killing enemy grants an extra 5% AoE bonus damage. Outstanding. Can't enhance anymore. We're good there. And last but not least, artifact, Wailing Skull. Okay, she, she, she. Oh, oh, where am I going? All right, she's got it. Ready, guys? Let's get after it. See if we can push to that A+. Plus. All right. Look at him walk out. Look at him walk out. Beast of a conqueror. But we're going to handle business. Don't worry about it. Put Torador out first. Get him going left, like I was saying before. Same concept before. I'm going to get the Abomination up north. I mean, up top and, and get him pointed south. There we go. Same thing uh, with this guy, just the opposite direction, pointing him directly up. That way they can get these guys that typically get a, uh, get lost up against the fence here. Put the little lady out back, right smack in the middle. I like her to go towards the front. And then these two guys are what I'm going to place right up in this area after the boss rush. These guys are going to be able to handle business just fine. I'm going to put it on two times for you. These guys are going to handle business just fine until the boss rush, right? We're already taking me down quite a bit. We're not going to use any ultimates. There's no need for it. We're going to save it. And then at the right time, we're going to lay these guys down. These guys are going to do massive damage, right? That's the idea anyway. All right, we're getting there. 40, 40%. Talk to her. Thank you, Go get you, boy. We're going to get you. All right, here we go. Here we go. Got to get the hood on. 
Get ready for the for the Hellfire Emperor. Better be just conqueror first. All right, here we go. Boss rush. Running. They're running. They're running. We're doing good. They're killing. Pop that. Pop that. We'll go ahead and put that continuous on. And we're not seeing any guys really hit this back fence yet, which is great. That's not what we're wanting yet. Now we're no, not yet. They're still doing pretty good. Still doing pretty good. All right. No, wait for it. There we go. I'm starting to see not not quite. Well, we'll wait till we see some guys. There we go. Hitting the back fence. Now we're being overrun. We put him right there. You can really help out there. We'll put him facing forward and we'll get it all. We'll get it all just causing massive damage. Look, all these guys are just melting people. Look at that. Melting people. Absolutely melting. All right. Whoa, we're up to B plus already. Doing good. Doing good, guys. All right. Come on now. Aatrox, he, he gets to revive. So I'm going to try to put him out, out there. Uh, put him back out there as quick as possible. Come on. Right smack in the middle. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Pop those ultimates. Pop them. Let them go. Let them go. Let them ride. We're at A. We're at A. Come on, baby. Come on, A plus. All right, baby. Come on. Can, can we can we get better? Come on. Come on. A little bit more. A little bit more, guys. Ah. Nope. A plus is nice. A plus is nice. Got him. Woo. All right. Did do our best this time, guys. We, we did bump it up a bit. That is awesome. That is awesome. Let's check out these stats real quick. Boom. Abomination is killing it, right? He's 38, doing the same as her, 38, 32, 21. He was more of a, 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 a you know, just, he's good for what he is, right? Um, if I had better gear, and uh, I don't even think I have him maxed out yet as far as skills, do I? I'm not sure. Um, but, you know, he, he could be doing a, bit, a little bit more damage anyway. This guy is just a freaking outstanding beast. He, he wasn't... This is kind of be, um, I mean, I'm sorry, this can kind of be uh, misleading, right? Because he did a ton of damage, probably more than any other person out there at any given time. But the fact of the matter is that I had to wait until towards the end of the battle to put him out because he's he's the big bomb. He's a big nuke. He takes out all the big guys. And so I had to wait till towards the end of the battle to put him out. So he wasn't on the field long enough to calculate as much damage over time as some of these other guys like this right they they were out there killing atrox the reason he was able to do that is because i double dipped him you know what i mean i was able to get him out there twice now i may be able to to plan this guy to get him out there a second time but it's kind of useless because you have to play him so early and he he basically dies right before the boss rush comes in order for the countdown to to count down enough so that you can bring him back out and it just uh it's, it's not quite not quite effective enough you know um i think if you get his uh let, let's go see i think if you get his um awakenings i think that you inc or, or, or reduce the time let's see where's he at big dog awakenings yeah, within 10 seconds of deployment, all ground effect areas will slow enemies in range. That's going to be outstanding. Attack. Cool. When HP drops below 50, doubles the damage dealt. There you go. By the ground effect. That's going to be insane. And then it reduces it right here. Reduces the cooldown of the talent effect by 3 seconds. And the max HP consumption by 5% max HP. So it's the cooldown of the talent. So I'm, I'm assuming that's your, uh, uh, you know, ultimate or whatever. So I guess... I guess it doesn't really do much with the uh, amount of time that you have to wait, I guess, unless you have a Volca in there. That'd be nice. But anyway, dude's a beast. Dude's an absolute beast. He's one of the main guys that does... What am I doing? He's one of the main guys who does the most damage. Oh, look at that. Collect it all, baby. Collect it all. Collect it all. That's it. Top 17. I moved on up a little bit, guys. I'm pretty proud of that. Pretty proud of that. All right. If you want to look at these rankings, some of these guys are insane. Look at this stuff, man. But of course, that's just grade A heroes all the way across. All the way across. It is interesting that he's using uh, consonants here in the top themes. I was trying consonants, but it didn't work out. Here, let's try it. Let's, try, you know, let's see it. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Challenge. Who are we going to take out? Hmm. Man, I don't know. I got 
it's just with this team right here it, it's hard to really move anyone out without kind of messing things up uh because she is actually able to revive atrox at least once and then you actually put him back out there again so that you kind of get that double dip if i'm not mistaken with atrox but you don't get that with this guy Cerebrius there but um interesting 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 what other options we have here let's see attackers and then i'm sorry it was uh, she's a defender defender there we go there's a little magic lady there but aatrox will able to do so much even if you remove gluttony let's try let's see what we get let's check her here and artifacts obviously she's naked Ooh. let's see uh permanent ones when damage is taken no we're not doing that after every 10 basic attacks landed deals aoe permanent damage yeah we can do that we can we can slap that on her see what kind of effectiveness we can get out of this <laughs> that's all we got was one all right then we'll go over to yes gear gear gear, gear. first um she's just healing she's doing the um inspiration that's all i need her for is for the 35 percent inspiration right and i'm gonna put her behind the wall so i really don't even have to build her much i could probably keep her with this right here um but the idea is where is it uh her ultimate is the inspiration just like you know obviously um Dolores the same way uh for, for 15 seconds right so the fact that she's only doing this for 15 seconds that's her ultimate you want to try to get her ultimate as much as possible so let's see if we can go ahead and scale her for some rage regen and that is it that's all we're gonna do rage regen well and, and attack speed i guess but let's let's try try to get nothing but rage regen and attack speed have no rage regen there we go there's some rage regen and who are we going with let's go oh look at that fancy what is this let's do attack speed since there's no rage regen where are you at where are you at where are you at we have no attack speed outstanding let's look for substats oh because it's still substats of rage regen yeah i'm definitely gonna need that so how about we'll do that perfect 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 and then perfect outstanding and then we're going to try some more rage regen which one we got no no Great rate attack speed attack rage regen 20 percent. i'll take that what, what do you got up here 21 even better all right rage regen 69 percent attack speed is a 133 let's see if we can make that a little bit better come over here we have no rage regen on the bottom let's do uh attack speed none of that either because we just don't do that apparently so i don't think we need to change that and we'll try the same over here first we're going to go ahead and go for some rage regen absolutely nothing outstanding then oh, then we can come over here and try some attack speed all right we got a little something something attack speed 85 i'll take it all right guys 69 percent there uh plus 218 um attack speed that's that's all we're really playing with with her we'll see what we can do see if it makes a difference for this particular team just because the top teams use it doesn't mean it's going to work with your synergy right the team that you have restart that jesus all right guys here we go here we go here we go get this going here we'll go ahead and get abomination coming down south we will get get corridor headed up we'll get this little lady right square down the middle and we'll put her inspiration right over abomination that way abomination is doing those massive aoe attacks it's really going to help out 
All right, let's put this on two times and speed this up. If we start getting a little more guys on this uh, back wall here, I'll throw Aatrox down. Actually, let's do this guy. He comes back. As long as you put him out early enough, like I did now, he'll, he'll come back. Again, we're going to go ahead and save these ultimates. We're going to wait for the boss rush. Let's see what we can do. Aatrox just, just waiting by, waiting by. Don't need him yet. We're causing plenty enough damage. Plenty enough damage going on. There we go. Cerebius now. There you go. Perfect timing. Take them all out. Look at that. They're just walking into their death. All right. And that goes away. They knocked them out. And come on. One more. Get him, coach. Come on. Come on. Good thing it ain't time. Jesus. I guess it is, but not that. It's not like we're, we're rushing for time. We usually have plenty. And here we go. Hey, trucks, I'll put you out now. Start doing your thing. Still doing good. Still doing good. Don't really see any enemies on this back line. Go ahead and pop that. Doing good. Oh, I forgot that, huh? Get all those going there. We're at D. Now he has come back. Outstanding. We'll go ahead and pop him out front. Right as the big dudes are showing up. All right. Doing good. Go and put the ultimates on auto. That way, as soon as they're ready, they're popping. As soon as they're ready, they're popping. Both these guys dropped already. And Aatrox is ready again. There you go. There you go. Do your business, guys. Do your business. She's applying inspiration, getting everybody those boosts, or at least those those two folks that I got her in uh, in range with. Absolutely doing damage. Absolutely doing good. I got it up to an A, but those oh man, they're doing a ton of damage right now on that wall. Can I get the A plus? Can I get the A plus? It don't look like it, guys. Don't look like that was quite as effective as the last run. So. That's just an example. Uh, Constance, although a great hero and although a great tool for a specific group, not quite for every group. So you can't just see something that's going on in the very top uh, uh, guys and think, oh, well, let me get that one hero and throw it into my group. Doesn't always work out the best. Although I did pretty well, clearly not the best. So for my particular team, for the heroes that I have, for the heroes that I'm able to use, this was the best performance that I can get with the best gear that I have. Right? I mean, not the A, but the A plus, right? Let's see. We'll look at it again. Boom! Got the A plus, 17%. Let's see how it's quite a ways from the, uh, from the S. So, looks like we're going to have to hold off till next time and see if we get any better. All right, guys. This is the first one. I'm going to have another video out for the next, uh, the secondary, uh, boss on the Codex. Uh, when is he ready? He is ready. Uh, coming soon. He's still got about a day left. So when this guy comes out, I have another video for you going over some tips and techniques to help you get some A, A plus, and maybe even some S's. All right, guys, see you next time. If you enjoyed that video, guys, check out my channel here or my latest video here. Till next time, APOC out.